והוא נגמר עם מסכת קידושים, teach us few ways that a woman sort of acquired, able to get married. One of them is by money, and we learn it from the field of Ephron. And the question is, how come our holy rabbis didn't found, find another place to learn the engagement and marriage of a woman, the Kiddushim, but only from a cemetery? On a way of a joke, some people say, it's exactly precise, because when you get married, you sort of buried yourself when you're alive. For sure, it's a sad joke. But seriously and truthfully, <clears throat> there are three kinds of sale. The first one, the person who sell the object or the land is obligated right away to get cash. So even though he got the cash, but he's unhappy because he was forced to sell something, but the one who bought, the, he's happy. <laughs> Very good, good deal. Another case, the salesman know the product is now so amazing. The land is so, it's not really good land. And he's very happy to get rid of it. The person who acquired it, with the time he found out that the business was not exactly as he thought and it's not so successful. So the seller is happy and the buyer is not so happy. A business deal, real, first real estate deal in the Holy Torah from the Sdeh Fron, that both of the sides are so happy, it's very hard to find. Because what was the case? Our holy rabbis teach us that everything that the fawn tried to plant or put seeds in the ground, nothing came out. You realize this land is dead land, not good for agriculture. So he said, I'm going to build something on it, make some money from a real estate, but no success. At night, there was sounds of damagers, spirits and ghosts, Nobody wanted to come close to this land. And that's why when he sold it, he was so happy and he was able to get a profit. And Abraham Avino, the buyer, he was so happy from the deal of his life to buy the place that Adam and Chava are buried there, a place which is the opening to heaven, to Gan Eden. And in this deal that the buyer and the seller are happy from it all their life, this is an amazing deal. And we need to learn from that for marriage. That's every chatan and kala, every person, lady and a man that's come to build their Jewish house need and obligated to think, whoa, I'm making right now the deal of my life. And when both of them thinking like that, this is a 100% guarantee successful recipe for happy life. And even though they're going to contest on the way, but when you know that this is the deal of your life, you're going to put all the effort to be able to pass the test and continue the deal of your life. Nachat Ruach Klal Yisrael, let us have peace between a man and his wife, a man and his fellow man, and for sure we should bring the peace between us to Hashem bless Nachat Ruach Klal Yisrael, Parashat Chayesara.